Happy Flannel Friday, fellow fishing friends. And happy Cinco de Mayo. Although we are past Cinco de Mayo, um, the reason I'm bringing it up is because we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo with a shipment from Sixth Sense because they had a Cinco de Mayo sale. If you are, if you signed up for Sixth Sense emails or you have their app, then you got the notification of the sale. Um, what the sale was, was a, a select group of lures that had a $5 price tag. So $5 for the 5th of May. Pretty cool. So let's see what I got for five bucks each. Uh, first thing we have here is a coupon for Waterland Fishing Optics, 15% off your first order. If you don't know, Waterland Fishing Optics is the um, brand of sunglasses that Sixth Sense sells. Uh, I believe that Waterland is their own brand. So obviously polarized sunglasses, they have different coatings and different colors for different uh, water conditions. So uh, something you could enjoy. Maybe I will take advantage of that because I do need a new pair of fishing sunglasses. Next out of my box, my bag, is a hybrid 5 8 ounce swim crank. Uh, this one is a D3 model, dives two to three feet, and the color is 4K bluegill. So five bucks, got one of these. Uh, pretty nice, I like the 4K bluegill where I fish. I know I've mentioned it before, uh, but if this is your first time watching, where I fish, there are a lot of, uh, it's very clear, and there are a lot of natural bait fish, uh, such as bluegill and perch, so these kind of colors work out really well for me. Um, looks like it's got a little bit of a, a circuit board bill on there, a little, not too, a little flexible. Um, then you've got your, your rooster tail with a little bit of sparkly on it, on the back side, and sharp hooks. So, yeah, there you go. Quick look at that. Not bad for five dollars. Next out in the same color as the same bait, uh, but it's the D1 model. So it's a zero to one foot, more of a surface or just, just barely subsurface lure. Uh, again, works good, especially when the grass gets tall. You know, I, I can drag that just on top of the grass and pull the big bass out. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Five bucks. Then a Vega Frog. Five dollar Vega Frog in color Mossback. I like the Vega Frog because it's got a little bit of a popper mouth and it's got that red, um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got the red in the mouth opening, which seems to attract fish for me. I really like seeing that on a bait whether it's soft or hard bait. And the Vega Frog, I've done uh, videos on it before. Pretty nice. Um, I like the tail. Specifically, if you're going to trim the tail, I like to trim mine a certain way. Um, so, you know, if you're a tail trimmer, I guess my best advice to you is don't trim straight across. Trim at an angle. Um, I trim at a... Um, I leave the longer ends toward the outside when I trim. But that's just how I do it. So five dollar Vega Frog, and then another Vega Frog, something with a little bit of color. I do have some waterways that I fish where it is cloudy or it is dark, a little silty, stained. So I like to get something a little bit brighter. And this is the Pickle Breath color. It does not have the red in the mouth, but that's okay because it's bright. And it's got stripes like a you know, like a perch or a baby pike or something um, that helps draw on the fish. So that's, that's where I'm going to use that and why I purchased that color. And then a Vega Frog in the toady color. Uh, there's also a lot of toads where I fish, so um, I thought I'd give the toady colorway a try. It's kind of a flat color with some of the stripes on the bottom. Obviously the stripes, toads don't have stripes like that, but um, it gives the fish the impression of a bait that they recognize. Uh, again, with the red mouth, the popper mouth, so that's, um, I like that little bit of red where I fish. I'll fish this in the clear water, so natural color, um, where all the, the natural baits are. And then last but not least, 
a Crush 50X. So I was looking for something that wasn't quite that red craw and wasn't quite that supernatural craw. And then I saw this on the Cinco de Mayo sale and I'm like, I gotta have that. Um, you know, with those, the, with the black and the red that kind of pops with a, with a goldish yellow background. Um, I think this will be good for uh, those clear waters as well as some of the stained water fishing that I do. And it does have, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's a faint rattle. It's not like a, a hardcore rattle. It's a it's a, a softer rattle. So I really think that's going to work out well in the areas where I fish. Give you a little closer look on that. So if you did not get a chance to um, participate in the Sixth Sense Cinco de Mayo sale, sorry about that, but that sale is over. And um, just wait for their next one. You know, sign up for their emails and see what you get. My video is not sponsored by Sixth Sense or anybody else. I spend my own money to bring you um, my unboxings and my fishing videos because I want you guys to uh, get a an unadulterated point of view. I, you know, I don't want don't want it hanging in the back of my head that I owe Sixth Sense something for the baits that they sent me, or you know, shopcarls.com. You know, I, I don't want to I don't want to say that Biospawn is the best bait in the world if it's not. Um, so, in order to keep myself free of advertising, free of sponsors, I would like it very much if you could click the like below, the like button, and uh, maybe leave a comment. Um, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it and you want to see more of these, feel free to go to my Patreon webpage. That'll be listed below in the links. And, um, you know, go ahead and uh, do a, a Patreon donation. So that's all I got for you today. Just a... Uh, a quick uh, look at the Cinco de Mayo sales sack from Six Cents. Oh, and I, I did get the, the velvet bag again, so I'm getting quite collection quite a collection of those. Uh, have yourselves a wonderful day and enjoy it.